Renewed attacks on residential areas come as a shock for people in eastern Ukraine, given that President Poroshenko earlier pledged not to put civilians under threat. We will advance and we will liberate our land. Ukraine's armed forces, the National Guard and our other divisions will never use force against civilians. They will never target residential areas. Ukrainian troops also making their presence on social media with videos like this surfacing on the web. Shot in high quality, army regiments are presented as well-organized units picked up by media outlets around the world. RT's Maria Finocena, though, found a different reality behind the scenes. Members of the National Guard demonstrate their very special equipment. The National Guard was created four months ago to bolster the country's defenses. Its fighters were supposed to get the best ammunition, but so far, they say, they've been fed with empty promises and stale bread. We had to cut most of the bread from these eight loaves. They only have a small edible part in the middle, but there are a lot of people here. This is the army's position outside Slavyansk, the key battleground in what Kiev calls its anti-terror operation. And while the president declares its active and decisive phase, fighters on the ground are confused as to where they stand, often literally. <laughs> No matter how hard it gets, everyone should do what they're supposed to do. If that happens, we will win very quickly. The future looked bright for Ukraine's soldiers and officers, as well as those volunteering to join the military. This will be our priority. Army volunteers will get the equivalent of $85 per day and solid life insurance as well. But it seems that President Poroshenko has not managed to keep the promises made in his election campaign. They say they've paid the salaries, but we didn't get any money. My husband didn't get it, and they keep promising it will happen tomorrow. My two-year-old daughter woke up this morning and said that she's hungry. What am I supposed to tell her? As a response to the country's inability to take care of its own service personnel, a number of online fundraising campaigns were launched. This is just one of many such projects. They have raised enough to purchase a drone and some ammunition. But most of the purchases are still in progress. Kyiv's large-scale operation is in full swing. But with a lack of basic supplies and weaponry, many complain they are not being sent to fight, but rather to die. Marif Noshna, Hati, 